you look at aviation, it contributes greatly to the European economy. In fact, you could say that aviation is very tightly linked to the economy. As aviation grows, the economy grows. As the economy grows, aviation grows. We as an industry contribute a great deal to the European economy. We want to make sure that we have and continue to share that message. The key challenge for the aviation sector is sustainability, being able to operate businesses that are sustainable. The cost of fuel, for example, representing as much as 30, if not more percent of the operating cost, it is clear that efficiency uh, of the entire system is one of the biggest challenges our customers, the airlines, are facing today. Our focus is to find a pathway to carbon neutral growth by the year 2020 and actually reduce our carbon footprint by 50% by the year 2050. To do that, it's about new products and then it's about policy. You know, what policies need to be in place to make sure we can grow, to make sure we can grow in the right way. What we're calling for is for European regulators to facilitate and accommodate the, the framework and the policy for aviation to grow and to prosper and be competitive both within Europe as well as international level. The first thing that we need to do is the European member states to deliver on the single European sky. We are implementing uh, CESAR which is uh, a traffic control system uh, that will allow uh, a doubling of air traffic with an improvement of safety by a factor of 10. The important part is this technology is not science fiction. This technology exists today, can be implemented today, and that's what we're doing as part of the CESAR. That is, uh, uh, say, a demonstration of the systemic approach uh, that we have to take uh, in the sense that it is not just the aircraft, but it is the whole system of, that, of air traffic that has to be improved simultaneously. The second thing is biofuels. We need to have a strong EU policy that supports aviation biofuel and can help you know, aviation to create a new industry for the fuel. Aviation has no alternative to liquid fuels, where other transportation sectors, other transportation modes, they do have alternative. So I think we, need to, we have to prioritize you know, the biomass, the biofuels for aviation. We have to make any effort uh, to uh, make uh, this uh, aviation uh, sustainable. And that, of course, uh, is uh, the, all the research, development and innovation that is necessary in terms of fuel, in terms of engine, in terms of uh, uh, airplane architecture. And that is uh, something that uh, is uh, very important uh, for Europe.